Biden calls on world to punish Russia for attempt to annex Ukrainian land. The U.S. imposed new sanction on Russian officials and companies and penalized foreign businesses, aiding the Russian military. But officials are holding back on energy sanction. Washington. President Biden commended Russians' claim annexation of captured Ukrainian territory on Friday, responding to Moscow's latest escalation with a range of sanction and warning to President Vladimir V. Putin that the United States would defend every single inch of NATO territory from a potential attack. Hours after Mr. Putin gave a speech asserting Russians' control over four eastern Ukrainian region. Mr. Biden called the action a fraudulent violation of international law that shows contempt for peaceful nation everywhere. The United States is never going to recognize this, and quite frankly, the world is not going to recognize it either. Mr. Biden said from the White House, "He can't seize his neighbor territory and get away with it. It is as simple as that." World leaders rail around Mr. Biden in a forceful collective denunciation of Russia's invasion of Ukraine. President Emmanuel Macron of France said Russia has committed a serious violation of international law and Ukrainian sovereignty, and vowed on Twitter to help Ukraine recover its full sovereignty over its entire territory. Jens Stoltenberg, NATO Secretary General. Called Mr. Putin's move an illegal and illegitimate land grab, and pledged to continue assisting Ukraine until it defend the aggressor. Even among Russia's traditional allies, no country stepped forward to recognize annexation. Uzbekistan's, a former Soviet republic in Central Asia, issued a statement before Mr. Putin's speech, calling for respect for sovereignty, territorial integrity. And the non-interference in the international affairs of other states, President Vladimir Zelensky of Ukraine responded to Russia's claim by announcing that he was fast-tracking his country's application to NATO. In a video, he accused the Kremlin of trying to steal something that does not belong to it. Ukraine will not allow that, he said. But Mr. Zelensky requests to join the alliance to a less resounding response. Right now, our view is that the best way for us to support Ukraine is through practical on-the-ground support in Ukraine," said Jake Sullivan, Mr. Biden's national security advisor. The Biden administration's new sanction aimed to further cripple Russia's defense and technology sectors and other industries and cut off more top officials and their families from global commerce. Those officials include two governors of Russia's central bank, but with Russia already under massive Western sanction, the measures may be less consequential than the administration effort to isolate Moscow globally, with a fresh appeal to nations that have not chosen a clear side in the conflict. I urge all members of the international community to reject Russia's illegal attempt at annexation and to stand with people of Ukraine. For as long as it takes, Mr. Biden said in a statement. Mr. Biden's warning to Mr. Putin comes amid strong suspicions by U.S. officials that Russia was responsible for apparent sabotage to the Nord Stream natural gas pipeline running between Russia and Germany. The damage occurred near NATO countries in the Baltic Sea, but in international water. U.S. officials have also long worried that Mr. Putin could escalate the war with a conventional military strike against sites in Eastern European countries like Poland and Romania, both NATO allies that serve as transit point for weapons into Ukraine, or with cyber attack. That's all for today. Thank you and goodbye.